Phyrexians are invading. So the crew gets back and they see the Phyrexians are invading. And Gerard is like, again with the Phyrexians. You know, there was wrath, like that whole plane, and it was like an artificial plane, and it was weird and kind of evil, and like, whoa, what's all that about? Um, well, it turns out the Phyrexian plan is to overlay wrath onto Dominaria. So like, if you imagine, like, if you had this orange and you wanted to invade this orange, and so you like kind of peeled another smaller orange and just kind of smashed them together, and then that was your invasion plan somehow, that's what the Phyrexians were trying to do. Um, and uh, so then, wow, like now there's like fighting all over and it's the Phyrexian invasion and, you know, Urza's kind of trying to lead the charge and uh, the navigator of the weatherlight, Hannah, dies. Then also she's like Gerard's girlfriend, so he gets all sad and brooding and like angry. And that's very sad. No! No! Urza put together a super team of super planeswalkers to invade Phyrexia to blow it up, basically. And so he made these things called the Titan Engines, which were these giant mech suits that all the planeswalkers wear. And each one was customized to their, uh, to their user. So like Urza and his like super team of planeswalkers go into Phyrexia in their giant robot suits and they're stomping around. They brought like awesome people, you know, like good guys from across the multiverse, and also Tevish Zot, who is just the worst. He is the worst. And then while they're in Phyrexia, for just kind of no reason, Tevish Zot goes amok and just kills two of the planeswalkers that are with them. Urza had installed this thing called a kill rubric. Uh, he could just push a button and kill any planeswalker that was in the Titan suit. And surprisingly enough, he didn't tell anyone about this. Urza just said, all right, that's it. Boop. Push the button. Tevish Zot was dead. And Urza sucked his soul out and used it to power the soul bomb that they would use to blow up Phyrexia. Baron's like, this is messed up. Like, you can't just suck people's souls out and use them to power, you know, weapons of mass destruction. That's, that's, that's messed up stuff there. Versus like, it's okay. Tevesh saw it was a criminal. He murdered someone. It's totally fine, completely above board. And Baron's like, did you know he was going to do that? Versus was like, yeah, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> So Urza had the soul bomb all ready to go, and he kind of sat there and looked around for a minute, just like, all right, what have I been doing with my life up until now? I'm several thousand years old. I've been making lots of sweet machines that uh, are really good at killing people. And he looked around at Phyrexia, and it was an entire plane that was just one giant sweet machine designed for killing people. He's like, what am I doing? I can't blow this up. This place is great. Urza's in his head, man. He's like, he's got this plan for these soul bombs, right? That's gonna take out Phyrexia once and for all. But the more he thinks about it, he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna surrender. That's a much better plan. And that's what he does. So we know that somewhere along the way, like Hannah dies. We know this, right? And Gerard, this hits him pretty hard because he's like, Hannah. So Hannah being dead, it kind of bothers him. So then Yogmoth, the big baddie, comes to talk to Gerard. Yogmoth says, hey Gerard, hey Gerard. Sorry, I'm making a voice for him. So then Yogmoth comes across to Gerard. Who's, hey Gerard, Gerard, I am Yogmoth. I could bring back the love of your life, Hannah, if you just join me. And Gerard's like, ah, okay. And so Gerard joins him, and then Urza's always, who's been captured as well, they bring them to the Phyrexian Arena, and Gerard and Urza must fight in the Phyrexian Arena. Gerard is given a mighty sword. And then in fight, Gerard decapitates Urza, takes off his head, head off the body. Gerard, holding this halberd in one hand and Urza's severed head in the other hand, escapes from Phyrexia, goes back to Dominaria, and then Urza says, hey up there, I'm still alive down here. I don't actually need a body. Uh, do you need any help? I'm, I've, I've calmed down a little bit and I'm ready to defeat the Phyrexians for real this time. So we're well into the Phyrexian invasion now and like Yogmoth is like, okay, it is finally time for me to show up in person and set foot on Dominaria, not foot exactly, but whatever, on Dominaria for the first time in like 9,600 years or something. I mean, he's not super precise about it. He's like about 10,000 years, which is fine. I'm coming back, baby, I am back. I could come back as anything. Oh, I know, how about I'll come back to Dominaria as a hemisphere spanning cloud of black death and plague. 
So, you know, nobody really recognizes him when he comes back. It's like, did you, you know, like, did you cut your hair or something? Like, oh no, you transformed into a hemisphere spanning cloud of black death and plague. I knew, I knew, I knew you looked different. So it's time for the crew of the Weatherlight to step up and stop him. So they take basically all of the stuff that they've collected on their journey and it supercharges the Weatherlight into like this super Yawgmoth killing thing. And Gerard uh, like rips Urza's eyes out and like slams them together. Uh, and there's this huge explosion and uh, Yawgmoth is destroyed in like a rainbow. Uh, which sounds really made up, I know. But yeah, no, there's like this rainbow, and then Young Moth is dead, and uh, everything is great, except that most of the characters who we've been following all this time are dead. Gerard is dead, and Urza is dead, and Crovax is dead, and Miri is dead, and Hannah is dead, and Baron is dead, and um, like several million Dominarians are dead. So like a lot of people are dead, but to Urza's credit, other people are not dead. So like, nice job, man. So Sisse and Tongarth and Squee are like respectfully remembering everybody who died or whatever. And then like, you know, where there's like a funeral and there's like a mysterious person at the funeral and you're like, it's you. And they're like, yes. Well, in this case, it's Karn, he's okay, hooray. They thought he blew up uh, when the legacy weapon rainbows thing happened, right? But no, Karn's okay. And he's like, I'm a planeswalker now. Urza's spark ended up in me. I contain multitudes. They're like, Karn, you are weird. He's like, eh. And then, so Karn's a planeswalker now and he can go be a sad robot all over the multi